I feel stressed, you guys. Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to another vlog. Today's vlog, oh, I have food in my mouth, child. I just finished having breakfast. I had me a little smoothie and some avocado toast. Um, and I'm about to go get my hair done. We are doing some vacation prep, okay? I'm so excited. Uh. Um, we're starting today with getting our hair done. As you can see, <clears throat> yeah, I need my hair done. And I'm so excited because I'm getting braids. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about my protective styles, my braids, and I just haven't been able to do them because I had no hair. <laughs> Still don't, but now I have enough so I can get braids. So I'm about to go wash and deep condition my hair. I literally only have an hour and 15 minutes before I need to leave. So y'all know me. Procrastination patty. Okay? That's my MO. Sure, Erica. With a C or a K? With a C. Okay. Do you guys have um, an espresso frappuccino? Um, yeah. Uh, what size would you like? Can I do um, mm, can I do grande? Sure. And can I, can I do oat milk with it? Yeah. And can I add brown sugar to it? Okay. And that's it. Gotcha. 843 and we'll see you in the middle. Okay, thank you. I didn't show you guys my hair. Do you like? They're so long, right? They're really long. Really long. They're knotless. Um, I got them early. So I got my hair done last week, actually. Because I don't like um like fresh braids. I like them to be a little old. But you know what? Not this. It gets old fast. So you gotta like work smarter. Work harder, smarter. What's the saying? Anyway, so I've just been making sure I tie them up and stuff. So they still look okay. I feel like hair depression is a thing. Because ever since I got my hair done, I've been in a good mood. Like, I just feel like I've been depressed for months because my hair wasn't done. I finally feel like myself. Ugh. I feel like myself, y'all. But anyway, oh, this is about choking me. This is supposed to be a prep for vacay vlog, right? So today, we're actually vacation. We're counting down. How many days? Let me see. T minus six. T minus six days until vacation. So um, today I went to go get a wax. I don't get my underarms waxed anymore. I'm actually gonna nair those myself. We're gonna do that later this week because the hair just, I just feel like because I only go get waxes once a month, the hair will already grow back and that's annoying to me. There's no point in me paying for a wax and then also having to nair them. like. I'm just gonna nair them when they need to be naired. For today, we're just, I just had to run some errands, I had to pick up some contacts from, as you can see, from my doctor's office. I prefer wearing glasses, to be honest. The only time I ever wanna put contacts on is if I'm going out and I wanna put on a lash or something. That's the only time I care to have contacts. And now that I'm going on vacation, like on vacation, I like to have contacts. So, yep, they gave me like, I'm really, it was this, they give you like a tester pair to wear to make sure they fit good and things like that. I'm used to wearing contacts. It's not, it's not the first time having them. So these are fine. And they actually gave me three pairs since they took so long to arrive. I have to get special special contacts because I have a really bad astigmatism. So um, there's that. Ellis, everybody has the most beautiful nails. <laughs> Don't look too close. I need them done. <laughs> I mean, listen, I thought they looked beautiful. Thank I just you. I can't get them done. <laughs> Thank I saw this girl, she had like um, like a pink and orange Thank you. swirl. Ooh. I think pink and orange, you know, it was like $500 for her. I feel like pets are so expensive. I didn't know it cost so much to neuter an animal. Well, it's because bunnies are exotic animals. Oh, really? Yeah, they're considered exotic because you have to like, like when you go and get your vet degree and everything, you can either choose to go like cats and dogs which is like what everybody knows or exotic animals. Okay. 
I mean, hmm, interesting. Hey, you all. Okay, so we are. I feel stressed, you guys. I feel stressed. Like, I feel like, well, I'm probably doing it to myself. As far as the stress is concerned, that's better. Um, I'm sure I'm doing it to myself. But you know how, like, you're trying to, like, get ready for vacation. So you're, like, buying things and you're spending money. <laughs> Tired of spending money. <laughs> okay, so if you guys can see, look at the bed behind me. This is all the stuff that I need to pack. I've just been putting everything in here, like I told you guys I was going to do. So, um,. And then today, in the mail, we got some packing cubes from Amazon. And I got a case, like waterproof case for my phone. A bunch of sunglasses. I ordered some from Amazon. I got some from Fashion Nova. Some I already had. So that's cute. Um, Look here, you guys. I ordered this cute beach blanket super cute i got a target i don't know why i typed in beach blanket i was thinking of like a beach towel that's what i that's what i wait is this called a beach towel oh this is a beach towel but i was thinking of like a towel i can use this is like a towel you put on in the sand so yeah whatever but we are about to go get our nails and feet done so when I come back home, we will start organizing everything. <laughs> so bright when i say obsessed oh my gosh oh my eyes are burning i think like oh like some i was it was i was going between like a colorful set like a mismatch set you know when every nail has a different design and this and eating are you okay my friend was like grow up why well, I, so I was like should i grow up she was just like <laughs> Yeah, y'all know my nails are usually super long. I asked her to cut them down because because this design was a little busy. I was like, I don't want long nails and busy nails. Let's pick one. So I'm really happy I asked her to cut them down. I think they look really cute. I think they look better a little bit shorter. Versus, I know this is not short, y'all, but it's shorter for me. Um, I'm obsessed. Like obsessed. Like I definitely would have to run this back again. I, have, I haven't even had it for one day but I'm just like oh yeah we're definitely gonna do this again but anyway yeah it took a little longer her husband does pedicures there I normally don't really go to him like that I only go to them when I need acrylic laid on my big toes because she's gonna lay it and she does a good job and everywhere else I try to go to they don't do a good job but she was running a special if you get a pedicure so I was just like let him do my pedicure child Here we go. Here's some clearance, y'all. See them red tags? Okay, this is kind of cute. It's just plain black. Which is it? How much is it? I wish I had it. 
There's no place in it. I guess it's 69. The tag is inside. It's in the clearance section, but maybe it's not clean. I don't know, y'all. This feels kind of plasticky. I like guess cute because it's all black, but it feels really plasticky. And I feel like it'll get jacked up at the um <clears throat> at the airport. So we're gonna put this back. There's another one, black one in here. For 79, this is kind of cool. This one seems sturdier. This is cute. This is $10 more. I found another one. This one's clearance for 64. This is cute, right? This one seems bigger. It's called Delcy. I've never heard of it before. Oh, okay. That's cute. I know this one is my speed. I'm a techie girl, okay? But it's not big enough. This white one is cute too. And it's but it's not on clearance. It is cute. That was bigger. And it's like 79, just like this one. Hmm. Okay, y'all. I went with the pink uh suitcase, the one that I not found on clearance. Um yeah, I just went with that one. I'm not really picky as far as luggage. Sometimes I'm gonna get beat up anyway, so I'm like, whatever. And I tried to look for a carry-on because I want to look a carry-on tote bag. I don't have anything like that because I just want to have my check bag and a tote bag for everything else and I couldn't find one so when we go to Target tomorrow we'll look but if y'all can see this like literally you guys just look like what so we have to make sense of all of this <laughs> so I have about five nighttime going out dresses to choose from which I'm sure I will not use all of them and then I have about three cute like lunch dresses and then I have addition like some shorts and tops and things like that that I can mix and match. I could even wear some of this, you know, to, it just just so I have something, have enough, you know. This pile is all of my bathing suits and my cover-ups. So I have a couple cover-ups here, this bright orange one, green, this new tan one. This oversized white shirt that it can also double as like a top to wear if I do do an excursion with like some shorts and a, and a bra or whatever, sports bra. Um, and I have like, I brought like two super comfy bathing suits where like if I'm feeling a little insecure that I could just throw those on. I have two one pieces that are little cutesy cutesy, you know, monokinis type situations with those. And then I have two bikinis. So just plenty of options. Like I said, I most likely will not use that. Well, I, there's no way I can use that many bathing suits because I'm only going to be there for, you know, four nights, five days. So not going to happen. But just, just to be prepared, just to have. And then y'all know I'm a pajamas girl. So I have about, I have two pajama sets, two like 90s, and then an extra like skim set in case I just want to be comfortable in the room. And then this is like my shapewear. I brought my Skims little bralette that's just comfy. And then like I said, I have to grab my other bras and underwear and all that good stuff, socks. I have this, I bought this hat from Target. Who knows if I'll actually use this like a visor. I don't know. I'm just going to bring it. I have like a headscarf. I have another headscarf I was going to bring. And then I have all my purses here. I'm just bringing a gang of them because they're cute for vacation. And... I'll just see what works when I get there. I really want to wear this one. It's so cute, but I don't have nothing really goes with it that I have. So I'm going to make something work, but I just think this purse is super cute. I just love it so much. So yeah, y'all, it looks a mess. I don't know why this is here. It looks a mess, but 
show you guys. I picked up this um, Patrick Ta um, body oil. So it's like a body glow oil. It looks really good on the skin, you guys. So I can't wait to wear it. Like for like a little nighttime pizzazz or whatever. They had like two sizes. I got the smaller one. But yeah. Super cute and it smells good. Okay, y'all. We in Alta. Because I wanted to check out some of these NARS. Oh, good. They have the Laguna. Bronze and cream. To see what four and five look like. Let's see. Okay. So this is four. Oh, yeah. So this is four. This is nasty, right? So you're touching it. So that's four. And then that's, this is five. This is the darkest one. So this is the Laguna Bronzing Cream and I really wanted it. That's really dark. This is the darkest one. This is the one after. I don't know which one I would need. But I like this formula. After buffing it into the skin. So buffing both of them. This is the darker one and lighter one. I like. I like, I like. Okay, Mars. And then, how do I... Hey, baby cakes. Okay, so y'all saw we went to Ulta. And honestly, I really did a uh, online order. But I went inside to go pick it up. And I also wanted to check out, as y'all saw, the bronzers by NARS. I don't have any NARS cosmetic product products. I only ever hear good things about them. And I really was in the market for a new bronzer. And I saw they had the Laguna Collection bronzing cream. They have a powder and a cream. I wanted the cream. Um, and I wanted to look between both of while I wiped it off, y'all saw. But I wanted to look between number five and number four. Because I figured both would work for me. Number five, I tend to always go to bronzers that are the darkest possible color. And I don't think I actually need the darkest possible color. It is very dramatic. Um, but I think this summer I'm going for like effortless. <laughs> if you know, you know, I'm cry actually crying laughing. Anyway, that's an insider. But um, my return at Old Navy and then in um, true fashion, I have to buy something. So... I literally just picked up some travel tissues to throw in my my when I go up on planes it's, it's like they're so cold and my nose starts running so I'm like let me just have some tissues Gina Janine always talks about these um floss sticks they're by a company called the humble company they're floss picks they actually if you can see here they have two um like pieces of floss on them I'm not sure why but they're plant-based material made of plant-based materials and I guess I feel like they're getting twice the amount of food out your teeth. <laughs> Maybe not. But I picked those up. I've been looking everywhere for Listerine pocket packs, like the little strips. I've been looking everywhere for them. So Target didn't have them. Neither did. Where else did that? The grocery store didn't have them. So Old Navy had them. I'm at Target actually right now, as you can see in the background. So I just grabbed a loofah for when I'm out of town because they're like throwaways. So I'll just take this throwaway one, use it while on vacation, and not come back home with it. I also picked up some Clorox wipes to use in the room and on the plane. I got the Fresh Scent as well as the Crisp Lemon. So I got two packs of those. I also picked up some, uh, oh, I guess I didn't need three then. I honestly could have probably used one. So I picked up some travel-sized, uh, I'll just say two. Travel size mouthwash by Crest. Um, and I also grabbed some insect repellent. This is like for the mosquitoes. I get bit up like nobody's business. Mosquitoes love me. Okay. Baby oil gel, basically. I like the cocoa one. So I will be using this. And I need it to re-up anyway for the summer and the spring. So I'm glad I got that. And then lastly, I picked up garnier my southern cleansing water right now i currently use the sensitive skin one it's pink and then i so saw this time i grabbed the all-in-one replump you know the good plump honey 
This is also for sensitive skin, but this is the hyaluronic acid and aloe one. So I picked that up. Lastly, I'll show you guys real quick what we picked up from Ulta. So we grabbed, uh, I didn't know Ulta even, so the reason I have four pickup orders is because I didn't know, I kind of forgot I needed certain things and I just got them at the last minute, but I didn't know that Ulta sold the got to be glue. So I picked up a small one, the travel one, so I can use it for my edges, babes. Say what you want about the Evian facial spray that's literally just mineral water, but I use it in my makeup application and I love it. So I got a little travel one. Um, NYX the brow glue in dark brown. It's a tinted brow gel styler. Just to try, I've never tried it before. I saw pretty good things about it, so I just wanted to pick it up. I'm looking to do everything natural as far as makeup when I'm away, so grab that. Um, as y'all saw, I grabbed the uh, creamy radiant the mini nars concealer and i grabbed it in amande amand or amande oh it's it's amand amand because the e is probably silent but it when i um swatched it on my skin it just looked like it was too light i was looking for a concealer that was more so my skin tone um because i probably will only be wearing like skin tints while i'm there and this looks a little light so I just went based off the color uh, thing on the website, on Alta's website, because I stay using that for like on Sephora's website. But I think this is gonna be too light. So we're gonna try it on like some dark spots and see what happens. I like the consistency though. Well, maybe it is my skin tone, actually. It looked light, but let me see. Let me, because around my mouth is like dark, like right here in the corner. So let's see if we can blend that in and what happens. So the girls always talk about this concealer, but actually it does blend like really really well hmm with a skin tint hmm okay wait hold on now you guys oh okay I guess it is and it is super radiant it definitely leaves a sheen on the skin wherever you place it Probably, probably can't even see but yeah look okay okay Lars. i didn't know how come y'all didn't tell me this is good okay well i guess they're right i didn't realize i was so freaking i i really i guess i don't know you know how you have people have body dysmorphia I must have some type of dysmorphia because I promise I'm a chocolate brown color. And this babes is not a chocolate brown color. It's just not. So obviously I need some sun. So hopefully we get that done this weekend. Cause what? I'm so confused. Shout out to It's Golden Chains, Milani, my friend Milani. She put us on to the Shiseido uh, sunscreen stick. So I had bought it before. Cause she put it, us onto it a while ago. I bought it before. And I lost it. I used it like twice and I lost it. So I had to re-up on that. So basically it's just a stick. It's perfect because you can just stick it in your beach bag, you can stick it in your purse, whatever, and just roll it. Yeah, it's like a clear stick. So it goes on clear. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So yeah, girl. So this is really cute, small tiny just fits and it smells really good and it fits it'll fit in my bag so i bought that because it's like when you want to reapply sunscreen if you're sitting out in the sun yeah i'm not playing because i've been working on my the texture of my skin the the evening my skin tone i've been working on all that so i'm not playing with the sunscreen and speaking of sunscreen i also picked up the super goop play this is the body mist with vitamin c it's also spf 50 um, I like the spray just because I've never used this one, but I like a, a SPF spray because it's just easy to get all the like the hard to reach places. Lastly, I grabbed this product by Copart, 
Kapari. It's also SPF 50 and it's called the Sun Shield Body Glow. It's um, like I said, SPF 50. And it's like a body glow oil gel situation. <laughs> um, but I saw this on TikTok. I saw a couple girls talking about it. And I was like, ooh, I should try it. Yeah, it's a sheer body gel. It's sweat resistant, water resistant, and packed with sunscreen. Um, so I'm excited. I want to put some on my arm. But this is what it looks like. Like I said, it's a gel. So you see it. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good too. It smells like coconut and vanilla. Ooh, it's like really shimmery. Well, you can't really see it. Oh, you kind of can see it. See? Yeah, that's what I got. So now we're about to... I need to finally eat. I have not eaten today. So we're about to eat. And then we're about to... Um, go home and finally start putting stuff in actual suitcases how about that how about that so yeah and then tonight we'll do our nair thing and um and then that'll be it y'all hey y'all okay so i made it to my destination i woke up this morning naired my underarms um and I didn't do my lashes, so I'm just gonna do them here. My glasses keep falling up, it's so hot. And I'm hot, I'm like sweating. I've been hot and sweaty since I got off the plane. Because y'all, tell me why I left my wallet. It felt, if you know me, you know I'm good for leaving something, but this time it fell out my bag. Cause I didn't have to take it out for anything. And um, my glasses keep falling up. Um, And my wallet fell out my bag and I, I call myself walking out. Like they were like, you can't get back on the plane. Once you get off, don't leave anything. I'm like, I'm good. I didn't take nothing out. I accounted for all my things. I checked the seat when I got up, didn't see nothing. So I like walked down like the exit, like towards um, immigration. And um, I was like, oh, let me get out my stuff that I need. So I took out my passport and I was like, oh, maybe I'll need my ID. So let me get my wallet, my little card holder. Child, it wasn't my bag. I took everything in my bag. I didn't see it. So I had to walk all the way back to the plane. The lady that was out there, she's like, you can't get back on, but we can go. I'm so thirsty, y'all. She's like, but we can go. Ooh. And she's like, but I can. we can go back there. Like down the tar, 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 what's it called? I'm having drawn a blank. I'm hungry. I didn't eat today. Okay. Um tarmac that's what's called tarmac so they had my wallet and everything was in there so then i had to it's a whole process then i had to come through go to um immigration be checked then go through customs then get my bags it was just a lot it was just a lot but it's raining here and i hope it doesn't stay raining um like i said i just got to my room i'm very underwhelmed but i knew i would be but i'm ready to have some fun babes i'm ready to have some fun Okay, okay, but you won't know where I'm at until you watch my next video. So thank you guys so much <laughs> for hanging out with me the past two weeks while I prep for this trip. I'm ready to have some fun and hopefully you guys are too. So catch me in my next vlog and you guys will find out where I'm at and what we'll be doing for the next couple days. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.